Welcome to the Sanders Kitchen. I'm Mike, and I'm here to show you how to spice up your holiday turkey. You know, this is really interesting. So down here in the South, we use uh, injectable products like, uh, well, I have some Tony Chasseries injectable butter. This is Creole butter. So it's got a lot of flavors, salt, pepper, garlic. And basically all we do is inject the bird. We put flavor in the meat and this is how we do it. We just put the syringe that comes along with the butter in the little bowl and then we suck it all up in here and then we inject. We just go ahead and start in the leg, give it a little, give it a little injection like that. Look at that. See that meat puffing up? It'll even squirt out at you a little bit. So what happens is you're injecting flavor into the meat. We go right into the breast. You know, three or four places and just as many places as you can. And it's gonna squirt out and you know, it'll, it'll get all over the place. But I'll just continue injecting this whole bird until I don't have any more, uh, any more Creole butter left. So it's crazy. Look at that. <laughs> it's really cool. So I'm gonna get this done. I'm gonna inject the wings, the legs, everything that I possibly can. And then I'll show you the last step. Now here's the other part of the science. We're through injecting. So now I'm going to dry off the skin of the turkey. And what we're trying to do is get the turkey to brown really good. And in order to do that, you need to pat it dry. This is just the science part of baking a turkey. But what we're gonna do is just sprinkle it with a little kosher salt. So it's not gonna be super salty, but what the salt's gonna do is help to draw out the moisture uh, from the uh, skin. And we're just gonna put this in the refrigerator, uncovered all night. It's gonna dry out a little bit. It'll kind of turn colors, look a little funky but it's gonna be really good tomorrow. And then we'll show you the rest of the process. I can't wait because the circus is gonna be beautiful and delicious. So we'll see you tomorrow. Well, here it is the next day and we took the turkey out of the refrigerator so that it would actually warm up a bit and it has uh, probably three hours or so and so the next step is to go ahead and put some butter and some uh, and I have some poultry seasoning right here and we're just gonna mix that together so I'm gonna come over here with my little fork and I'm gonna pour in my one tablespoon the poultry seasoning in the bowl with the butter and I'm just gonna mix it up together now I don't know if a spoon would have been better or a fork at this point we'll find out but I uh, wanted to mention that I took the, the butter out of the fridge I could have let it stay out with the turkey but uh, I forgot so what I did was I put the butter in the microwave for 10 seconds and it softened it really really good so I'll I'll slide this under as much as I can and scoop it out like that okay <laughs> gotta raise that skin up and stick it underneath there hey you're gonna have to get your fingers dirty that's all there is to it but I like the idea of of just pushing it around onto the breast on both sides. And, and if you feel talented enough, you can take a, a scoop of this 
and stick it in with your hand and bring it over to the leg portion. You know, just pull the skin away and you may have to use your left hand to do the other side. I'm gonna turn this a little bit because my, my fingers are going that way, see? So I'm gonna just reach underneath here and shove it in. Look at that. Hey, I know you guys could do it better than I can. So just go for it. The rest of it goes on top. So whatever's left in the bowl, put it on your hands and give that bird a massage with some of that butter. Everybody that buys a turkey knows that there's always a little spot that the skin is kind of torn away from. So I used my twine, my butcher twine, and a trussing needle, and I literally stitched it up, okay? But I'm not gonna waste this little piece because, you know, we already did all the butter and all that and injecting and everything. So what I'm gonna do right now is pull these legs together. My brother taught me this knot. It's a special knot he learned in the Navy. I'm, I'm just kidding you. <laughs> Not true, he didn't teach me this knot. Um, anyway, so, so now the legs are tied together and everything is covered and, uh, and seasoned. And we're almost there because I wanted to show you that uh, in this roaster, you will see two onions, two cut up celery, two uh, carrots, and some garlic. Probably about five or six toes of garlic. And I, I actually took the little tail piece and cut it in half and threw it down there too because, you know, hey, it's all flavor. I'm not gonna eat it, but it's all flavor. So what I'm gonna do right now is take some orange and I'm gonna stuff it up in here. A Couple of orange quarters some cut up onion, some yellow onion. And I'm actually gonna throw a few pieces of garlic in here too. Wouldn't hurt. Hey, it's all about flavor, right? Hey, let's not forget about our rosemary. I was putting everything away and I said, wait a minute, gotta put the rosemary in here. So we'll just stick that in. And now I'm going to take these little wings and we're gonna fold them babies under like that. Okay, so we're gonna put this in a 450 degree oven, Fahrenheit, for 30 minutes. And then we'll turn it down to 300 degrees. And then I'll show you how to make a great basting sauce. So let's go ahead and put this baby in the oven. Set my little timer. Put it right on in. Okay, well, it's time to make our basting sauce because we are going to baste this turkey. So I'm going to use uh, a stick of butter. Melt that down. Uh, I'm going to add in a couple of tablespoons of some really good honey. I'm going to add in uh, four or five little cloves of garlic. I'm going to add in this uh, cream sherry wine. I guess we're going to go with about a quarter cup. We'll see. Might need a little bit more than that. And then a few dashes of some Worcestershire. One, two, three. And then I made up um, a little sprig of rosemary and some orange peel. And we're gonna melt this all together. And we'll just use this to baste every 30 minutes. And I will turn the turkey every time I baste. I'll turn it around the opposite way. It's a pretty interesting little recipe. Just gonna take our basting sauce and start basting the turkey. Uh, I'm hoping that the basting sauce 
is going to help it brown nicely. And I'm going to flip it around so it was facing that way. I'm going to leave it that way when I put it back in. And now we'll put it back in the oven for 30 minutes and we'll just keep basting and, and turning it every 30 minutes. Uh, it's probably going to go for an hour and a half, but uh, I will verify the final temperature with the instant read thermometer. We're looking for about 155 internal. So I'm going to get it back in the oven. Okay, the turkey is out of the oven. It looks great. And I'm gonna go ahead and check the temperature in the thigh. And I'm gonna stick that down in the thigh. And we have 159 degrees, which is very good. Now I'm gonna go in the breast. And this is the thickest part. We have 161. So as it rests, it's going to come up about six degrees or so. So it's going to be close to that 168, um, you know, somewhere around there. I mean, we're not going to nail it exactly, but it's close, very close to being perfect. So what we're going to do is let it rest. I'm going to take it off of this roaster and I'm going to take all the uh, veggies out with the, the little stock that remains and we'll just make a little gravy. But in the meantime, we'll take the turkey off and, uh, and we'll let it cool down a little bit before we carve it. So we'll see you in a little bit. The ingredients will be in the description below the video. So go copy it and make yourself a roasted turkey. Look how beautiful this turkey looks. It is gorgeous. It was 12 to 14 pounds. Uh, we, we cooked it just like uh, every 30 minutes, uh, turning it, basting it, checking the temperature, make sure we didn't overcook it. It finished up perfectly. And, uh, and so we just decided to decorate and make it look beautiful. Can you imagine this on your dining room table and carving this for your guests? It is amazing. You know, really, I gotta, I gotta tell you, the legs are about to fall. Look at, I mean, that leg will probably almost fall off of there. It is perfectly done. So, as much as I wanted to just leave it like that, because it's a beautiful show bird, right? I'm gonna cut this thing. I'm gonna cut a piece off right now. I'm gonna cut into this leg and. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to have a chunk of this right now. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. Ho, ho. Mm. Man, I get the chills. This thing tastes so good. Mm. This roasted turkey was amazing. You guys really need to try this recipe. So I just want to say thank you guys for watching the Sanders Kitchen. If you like our video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell. And as I always say, have a great week and God bless you.